Please welcome Shannon Deegan and Stacey Chu. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the school year. I'm Shannon Deegan, the Director of Technology. This is Stacey Chu. She's our newest EdTech consultant, and we've got a question for you. This is the real question. Social media is uh, changing education, it's changing the world that we live in, it's changing the way that we teach. Educators are now starting to embrace this. It's no longer that, hey, what's the celebrity eating, what are they doing at lunch, that type of thing. Educators are starting to use this as this powerful learning tool, and I want to show you a couple examples how. Imagine kindergartners blogging, published kindergartners, showing their work, sharing with community, giving feedback, um, sharing their content with their family, their friends. Imagine breaking the bounds of your classroom, connecting with classrooms across the country um, in projects like Mystery Skype. We're partnering with uh, school districts in Iowa to get our classrooms connected with theirs, and, and Stacy's going to talk a little bit about a challenge. Think about the old school, hey, go out and research a historical figure and come back and write a report on it. And now think about the new ways that we could do that. Think about using Pinterest to pin all of those different images and, and, and research files that, you, that, that these kids have collected. Or learning. Learning doesn't have to stop when the bell rings at the end of the day. So think about that 45 minute lesson that you have, and we're all, you know, we can't force the light bulb to go off in that kid's head when that moment happens. But what we do know is that light bulb might go off in the evening. What a great way to have your kids be able to connect back to you in the evenings, to be able to check back on the lesson, what were we working on, share their thoughts, share their ideas, have your parents know what was going on in your classroom that day. And here's another example on the elementary level of them publishing students' writings, publishing their works. We know kids, if they're going to work on a rough draft, we know that they're going to work harder and make, that, uh, make their writing better if they know someone else is reading it. And then social media can be used as this incredible tool, and this is where the real power is and why we want to get you involved. Um, it's the sharing of resources. So right now we have this incredible app that that was made right here by our Career Center students, um, working with Brad Wilson and Steve Kynick, that I see over there. They worked with Career Center students to build this app, and we used, or not used, we, we collaborated with uh, about 70 local students to help build all of the illustrations. This app is now available to you online for the world to use, and we're sharing it out there. And I just wanted to tell you this quick little story. I downloaded it for my eight-year-old son, he used it for about 10 minutes, and he just turned to me and he said, finally, Dad, finally, an app that allows me to think. And I just was like, wow, that's powerful. The world needs to know about this. Our county needs to know about it. We're sharing it out on Twitter. We're sharing it out on every social media space we can get. I know we're nearing the 1,000 download mark. We'd love for you to go home, download it, try it with your kids, try it with your students. Um, it's just a really great app built locally right here by our own person. And then as we all went through those teacher preparation classes, they talked to us about uh, professional learning networks. And it was always, oh, we'll, we'll do a book club, or we'll meet uh, every, you know, once a month on Monday. And then what happens? Someone gets sick. Soccer practice gets canceled. Something like that happens. But the internet doesn't sleep. And people are connecting at all times. And so there's these chats that are happening where educators, and so this is just, a, go back one. This is just an example where Michigan educators are getting together one night a week to talk about you know, all the important issues. They're sharing items, they're sharing ideas. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Go ahead. Or we can even get down to content for specific. Think about this fourth grade teacher. This fourth grade teacher chat is absolutely amazing. You should see the resources that they share. And this is just one little picture of what's happening. These chats are actually happening every single night of the week. You don't have to participate every single night. You can get in and read the archives. But imagine now having access to all these other educators that are teaching things just like you. They're sharing resources. 
that are sharing their stories is just extremely powerful. So you're going to hear us say this a lot. We are going to really encourage you to think about embracing social media. Join the discussion. We would love to hear from you. I'm going to give you my own personal example. I, you know, I've been here six years. Since I started using it in the summer, I've connected with more teachers, learned more about their classrooms and their stories in two weeks than I did in six years. So it's an absolutely amazing tool. So we're going to ask you to join the discussion. Remember, you're going to hear us also say, continue the story. And that was kind of our video at the beginning, which was, let's quit letting everybody else tell our story. And let's, let's do the telling. Let's tell that story ourselves. You, you are amazing educators. You do amazing things for kids on a daily basis. Let's share that. Let's let the world know about it. So we use this hashtag for Twitter, at hashtag Team Jackson. That is not to represent our department. That's to represent our entire county. This is the place where we're hoping educators will come together in our county, share their stories, ask questions, um, share your resources. So this is, this is about us, okay? So I'm gonna turn this over because we've got what we think is a pretty exciting challenge this year uh, for all of our educators, so here's Stacy. Thanks, Yeah. Well, good morning. Okay, so I wanna hear how many of you are ready for a great new school year? Ooh. All right, guys, I will only be given this mic once and have a room like this only one time. So I want to hear you. How many of you are ready for a great new school year? There we go. See, I had my ear tonight. I didn't focus there. All right, so let's talk about the monthly classroom challenges. So this year, we wanted to get into your classrooms, but more importantly, we wanted to tell everyone what you're already doing with your students. We know you do amazing things. So we thought to ourselves, how can we integrate technology? How can we help you create lessons that are supported by technology? Not just using technology for technology's sake, but to allow you to really show what you're doing in your classrooms. And so we came up with monthly challenges. And these monthly challenges center around six ideas. The first one is to explore. We want you and your students to answer questions that maybe they don't have the answers to. We want to explore with them. We want you to collaborate. Join other classrooms around the globe and in Jackson County and around our nation to come together. We want you to create things. We want to see what your students are creating. We want you to share. Tell everyone your story. You are incredible educators. We know this. We want the world to know this. Make sure it's relevant. That's one of the reasons that we chose this challenge is because we wanted to do things that were relevant to you. Again, not just to force technology at you, but to implement it in a way that supports what you're doing. And connect. We want you to connect with the world outside your classroom. We want to break down those four walls and get you connected with other educators and other classrooms. So our first challenge this year starts in September, and it starts with a mystery skate. How many of you have done a mystery skate in your classroom? Quite a bit, good. All right, so a mystery skate. What we do is we will have you sign up for a mystery skate on our JCISD website. You will be connected with a classroom either in Iowa or somewhere in the United States or even across the globe. Your students come up with questions. They have to create inquiry-type questions to determine where the other classroom is located. So they have to really think and work together. Now, we realize that September is the worst month for a teacher. You're just starting out, you're finding you know, the rhythm in your teaching style and in your classroom. So all we're doing for the month of September is asking you to sign up. And then we'll continue the mystery skype in October. So all you have to do for this first event is simply sign up. Now, let's say that this isn't something that you're really thinking you want to do in September. What you can do then is you can sign up for any of the other challenges, any of the other months. You don't have to start with September. And you can do one or you can do all of them. So here's how to do it. You go to edtech.jcisd.org and you look on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see monthly edtech challenges. Click on September or whatever month you want to join. I am so excited to work with all of you this year. 
Brad, Dan, Shannon, and myself, we can't wait to see what you produce. Thank you so much for your time. So, if you have your cell phone, your laptop, if you're on Twitter, we would love to hear from you today. We'd love to hear from you through these sessions. If you hear something from our fabulous keynote that's inspirational or just clicks with you, um, post it on there. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to see it. Um, I want to thank, just real quick, I'm going to take two seconds. Thank you guys in the booth, Rich and Justin and, and, and uh, Dan, for making this, you know, just all, putting all the work to make this happen. To my incredible tech support team for all you do to make challenges like this a possibility. Um, so, we hope you'll join the discussion. Continue the story at hashtag Team Jackson. Please join us and have a wonderful, fantastic uh, start to your school year. Thanks. Please welcome Kevin Oxley. <laughs> a mystery voice up in the, up in the booth there. Uh, thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Stacy. I thought that was a really great way to get started this year. Um, we, we truly need to do a good job of telling our story. Um, because we have a good story to tell. We have a great story to tell. And um, we now have tools that evolve and change the way we communicate and collaborate, the way we teach and learn. And I encourage you to get involved and, and really use those tools in your classroom. We have the expertise to show you how to use them. We have the expertise behind the scenes making sure those tools work for you. So um, please take advantage of that. I also want to welcome this morning uh, many of our colleagues from around the county, especially those from Michigan Center. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. I want to thank some community members. I know there's a few community members out there um, uh, listening today, and I 